Hey babes, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we have a super exciting video. So I recently started a BoxyCharm subscription. So if you guys are interested, we've added a new playlist to our YouTube channel, which will be BoxyCharm unboxings and try-ons. So I actually have three BoxyCharms already. As you guys know, I was sick a few weeks ago, so it kind of delayed us on some stuff, but we're finally here and we have boxy charm so this is our november box i also did receive my december base box already and my husband actually got a lux box both the base box and the lux box we won't be talking about today for the december boxes because i do want to do the november box but we will have those next week and the week after so definitely stay tuned for that so if you guys want to see my november boxycharm unboxing and you want to see what products i got and how i'm going to use them then just make sure you keep on watching please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on new videos don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and share it with friends and comment below and let me know if you guys have a boxycharm subscription yourself without further ado let's get into it don't give us about paparazzi baby you know they're always trying to get me a million dollars at the nice year. Let's start with our disclaimers. This video is not sponsored, but BoxyCharm, if you're watching, hi. So on to our November base box. So the November base box usually does come with five products. You get to pick one product for each month. And upon sign up, you actually do get a free product if it's your first time signing up. So my box is a little bigger than normal. The actual size of the base box is this one right here. But we did get a bigger box because of that one free product upon sign up. So this is the November base box. It retails for $27.99. It used to be $25. And for anybody who is just subscribing, it is going to be that $27.99. As the new year comes in, they're adding bigger brands. They're adding more brands. They're adding higher end brands. So that is why some of the prices in the boxes are going up. Each of the boxes are supposed to be well over $100. I will give you the exact thing in the screen here. With the base box, you do get the five full-size products and they carry everything to you so november's box i know it's a little late guys but again we were sick so i've been trying to catch up but i still want to share all these really fun beauty items i'm really excited about boxycharm so yes this boxycharm for november was the boxycharm invite only also guys if you're interested you can use my referral code or link which will be down in the description box below and with that referral if you're a new sign up customer you can use that link or code to earn 500 charms in their store meaning you get five dollars so you get five dollars and i get five dollars we both win i have laid down my foundation and my contour I did check out the items in this box already beforehand just so I know what to use, what I can use. Anything I'm using now will be using on camera. So first I'm actually going to start with one of the products that isn't in this box. Um, it's actually one of the products that I got from Sign Up, the free gift. And that was the OPV Beauty London Spotlight Palette. This is such a gorgeous vibe, this palette, and I'm so excited to use it. I want to use it for the New Year's looks, so definitely stay tuned on my Instagram for that. And this is the palette. It comes with the handy little mirror. I love palettes and mirrors, don't we all? And look at these gorgeous colors. So you have some nice shimmer shades, and then you have a few mattes, but this is a very shimmery metallic palette. So I'm very excited to use this. So let's get into it. I'm going to swatch a few of the shimmers and the mattes, like two of them. So let's go ahead and just show you this one. And I don't know. Let's do this pretty blue over here. So that looks really pretty and really shimmery. I think the pigment could probably do a little bit better, but we'll see as we're applying it. That was kind of a light swatch, so 
Let's go into the mattes. I'm going to go ahead and go into this orange one. And let's just go into the kind of reddish one over here. Really kind of rosy, kind of red. Okay, pigment is okay. I've had some better palettes than this. The colors feel still pretty buttery. So like I said, we're gonna work with it and see how it goes. Now the pigment looks pretty good because it got stuck on my hand. <laughs> Let's just find out for sure on the eyes. I'm gonna go in, I'm thinking with public eye, which is this one right here. And I'm just gonna use that along my crease. Okay, okay, so maybe hand swatching doesn't do it justice because this is actually going on pretty pigmented. I'm liking it. It feels nice and smooth. It's really blendable. Okay, okay. That's why we try stuff out. I like. I'm going to do my other eye off camera and we're going to get into the next shade. So the next shade I'm going to use is Edge, with, which is this really pretty off red right here. And we're just going to build up the public eye, which is that orange, which we just used. Just to make it look a little bit more warm. I am really liking how these blend and work so well together. And these are buildable, so that's something else I really like. One thing I do notice is that this does have a faint smell. I can't really, like, explain what it is. I want to say it's kind of, like, kind of, like, chemically, but I don't know. It just, it's, I don't know how to explain it, guys. It's a weird one. Like, I've smelled cosmetics that smelt like cosmetics, but this smells kind of weird. It's not that strong, so it's bearable for me, but just keep that in mind if you guys do not like any type of scent in your products. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and come back with the next shade. I'm actually going to add a little bit more of edge on the outer corner. And then I'm going to throw a nice, like, brown on top of it to smoke it out a little bit. The next shade I'm using is Dazzle Night. We're going to dip into that and use it on the outer corner where we just placed Edge just to smoke it out a bit and deepen up that corner. We looking really nice right now. I'm liking this palette. I take back what I said about the pigment. I take it all back. Um, OPV Beauty got it. So let's keep going. We're going to go ahead and go back into the palette. And we're going to go in with Dazzle Night and Edge. We're going to mix the two together and put that underneath our lash line to make it just look more smoky. All right, guys, so now we're going to get into our two last shades I want to use for this look. And I think I'm going to go into D-plug, which is this really pretty metallic red right here. And then for the inner corner highlight, I'm going to use the shade Exhibit. I think I'm going to use my finger with these because you always get the best pigment. But we are going to try a brush with the Exhibit color for the inner corner of the eye. Oh, wow. That is really, really pretty. They do feel very buttery, very creamy. I'm going to go ahead and take this little 
kind of dome shaped dense brush and I'm gonna go into exhibit let's see how that packs on okay I actually like it with a brush Ooh. okay I'm gonna take a little bit of that gold on my fluffy brush and just Add it to the top right here to pull the whole thing together. Yeah, I'm definitely liking how that's looking. Just right over the brow bone. Okay, so one thing I really love about this palette is the fact that I had no fallout. No fallout whatsoever. I mean, nothing. You guys could see it. That's amazing. Because I do have a lot of palettes that do have fallout. But just because it has fallout doesn't mean it's not good. It's just something that you guys have to learn to work with. I'm not sure how much this palette retails for, but I will have it in here somewhere for you guys once I do find out for sure. But palette, five stars, absolutely love it. It gave me an amazing look, and I think you could create a lot of looks with this, especially because there's matte and shimmer shades. And I think it's a really perfect shadow palette for new year's coming up so again stay tuned on my instagram for some looks now we're gonna get into the products from our actual boxy charm so with the boxy charm base box you do get one choice they give you two products to choose from sometimes it's three um depending on the month and what's going on but you can choose up to one product a month for your box that you know you will definitely be getting. So I believe from what I remember, I picked this one, which is the Primrose and Cream Lip and Cheek Cream Palette. This is from Seraphine Botanicals. This is the palette and it is cruelty free and vegan, PETA certified vegan. This is what the palette looks like. It is for the cheek and lips. And it does come with the compact mirror and three shades to choose from. I think these are really pretty shades, especially for my complexion. So we're going to go ahead and try them out. Now, there was a lip product in here, so I'm not going to be using this for my lips. I'm only going to be using it for my cheeks today. This lip and cheek palette retails for $42. And it combines hydration, health, and hue in one easy-to-use buttery palette infused with luscious plant oils and waxes for your lips and cheeks. The three creamy formulations are made with gold of pleasure oil as well as nourishing shea butter that melts onto your skin to enable you to achieve seamless, long-lasting color. Powered by evening primrose, cowslip primrose, and cabbage rose extracts to help luminize and condition your complexion. So if you guys don't already know, I'm obsessed with cream palettes. I love cream palettes, cream blushes, cream anything. I think cream is hard to work with if you don't know how to use it, but if you have the proper foundation, it's really easy. So if you guys do want to see a video on that, then just let me know in the comments below. So the first one we're going to swatch is brown butter. Okay. Then the next one we have is rosy pink. And the last shade we have is the Deep Rose. So on my hands, they do feel really light and creamy, airy, buttery, all that good stuff. So we're going to see how it goes and applies on the cheeks. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the shade deep rose just because we have a darker eye look going on and I kind of want to be dramatic so let's go into a brush and see how this goes I'm gonna take my Texamo I believe this is the blush brush it's a brush that I really like to use so I'm gonna use this one and we're just gonna pat a little bit I already see the pigment is going on so ooh. so let's see I'm scared of this actually because this is looking very pigmented. Wow. So it is blending very nicely. Yes, okay. Like I said, a little goes a long way. I'm kind of like scared to pack this on because I might not be able to blend it out if I go too harsh. 
I think I'm going to give it a five stars. It blends very nicely. It doesn't look like it cakes up on my skin. And I really like the colors and the shades that it comes in. I think these will make nice lip colors too, especially because they're so lightweight. But we will try that another day. You guys can check me out on Instagram for that. The next product we have in the box is the Blink Ultra Volume Tubing Mascara. This mascara retails for $26. It's Blink's Ultra Volume Tubing Mascara. It's clean and vegan. And it gives you an ultra long wearing buildable false lash effect with a semi matte finish. Its thermoplastic elastometer brush is eye shaped with dynamic spacing and super soft fibers to give you dramatic volume and length. So I want to see how this goes. I don't think I've ever tried a tubing mascara. So we're going to see how this goes. So, and this is what the mascara looks like. This real simple packaging. I'm going to show you guys the wand. Okay, I like these type of wands, so I could see this going very well. I am going to curl my lashes just because I like that fuller lash effect, so I'm going to curl them, and then we're going to go ahead and try this mascara. I like that. Can you guys see the difference? That's with the mascara and without. I like it. I like it. That was one coat. We're going to go ahead and let that dry. I'm going to go ahead and do my bottom lashes and the other side. And then we're going to put a second coat on it. One thing I do already notice is this does get slightly clumpy, but it's honestly not that bad. You can also get one of those like lash combs and just that'll help it to comb the product out and avoid that clumping too. I don't have one of those, but I definitely need to invest in one. That was two coats. I am loving how it looks. It did help to lift and curl my lashes after using the curler itself. So I am really liking how it's looking. So I would have to give this a good four stars. Again, a little clumpy. But besides that, it feels pretty nice and lightweight on the eyes. The formula does feel a little thick when applying, but it is something that I kind of prefer because that's how you know it's coating it. It's giving that good volume and definition. And it's just giving you all those good lifting vibes. So uh, let's get on to the next product. The next and last product I'm going to be using is the Hey Honey Trick and Treat Lip Balm. This is a berry balm with natural tint. A berry lip balm formulated with rich emollients such as castor bean oil and honey to repair, hydrate, and provide a beautiful tint. It retails for $23 and it looks like this. So this is the packaging. And this is how it looks. Honestly, for $23, it's probably not something I'd buy as just a lip balm tint. Um, that's just me in preference. But I still think it's a really cool product. So let's just see how it goes. I do like how thick it is. You guys can see that. It looks really pretty. It feels kind of like beeswaxy. Let's see how well this tint goes. Okay. I think it's decent. It feels really nice on the lips. It feels a bit thick, but I prefer thickness. I like hydration on my lips, so again, preference. The color does show. I'm liking. Again, for $23, I really don't think this is something I'd buy um, to be part of my staple, my routine. 
but again it is a really cool product and if you guys want to try it i'd say go for it feels super hydrating super moisturizing it actually tastes kind of good i don't know if i should be eating this but it tastes kind of good <laughs> Now, this is pretty much the finished look. I'm not going to add anything else because we pretty much did everything from here. Um, I'm liking it. I'm liking all the products so far. And now let's just get into the skincare. Now, the skincare I probably won't talk about too much here because I do have a lot of skincare already. And I don't want to open these up because once you open them, they do have a, a six month to 24 month period of time you should use it but if you guys are interested you can head over to my instagram i always like to post my skincare reviews over there so the first product we got for skincare was the kate somerville goat milk moisturizing cleanser and this is formulated for sensitive skin see it's 40 dollars, and it's a gentle daily face wash that's formulated to cleanse and soothe without tightness or irritation it's enhanced, non-foaming, creamy formula, removes makeup, dirt, oil, and impurities while maintaining skin's radiance and essential moisture. So, I'm actually really kind of excited to try this because goat milk is a rave, if you guys don't know already. I think goat milk is honestly very underrated because it's more on the expensive side, but goat milk is so good for the skin. It's really hydrating, really nourishing, so super excited. We'll see about the price because I usually don't typically go for $40 cleansers. But again, we are going to try it out and we're going to see. So the last product we have in our base box for November is the Glow On Fit Beauty Refresh and Reset Brightening Mud Mask. And it does come with a small little spatula as it should. And it's a orange mud mask. So I'm really excited about this one actually out the box because I love, 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 love clay and mud masks. I'm a mask fanatic. So guys, I can't wait for that one. Dull, uneven skin has finally met its match. Brighten your skin's natural radiance by using the ginger mud mask. Infuse the ginger root and taurine to re-energize skin and minimize fatigue, boost circulation, and help with rehydration. Use one to three times per week and enjoy the gift of instantly radiant skin. I love me some radiant skin. Super excited to try that out. This product retails for $30. So this whole box actually retails for a value of $161 without the palette. Because again, the palette wasn't part of the actual box. It was just a free gift. So I think that's a great value for my first box. I think it came with some great makeup items and some great skincare items. I love skincare. I love makeup. I'm a beauty fanatic. And if you are too, then hit subscribe and hit the bell because you won't be notified of more videos unless you hit that bell. So <laughs> with that being said, guys, that's pretty much the end of this video. This boxy charm went amazing. I love my November box. I love my goodies. And I'm so excited to be sharing with you the next two boxes for the next two weeks. So we're pretty much going to have like a month of BoxyCharm because by the end of our third week of BoxyCharm, most likely we'll have our January box. So I'm definitely, definitely excited and so ready for a whole month of BoxyCharm. So if you guys, again, like this video and like this tutorial and want to see more BoxyCharm videos, then... Please subscribe if you haven't yet and give me a huge thumbs up and share the video with friends and family. Comment down below and let me know if you've tried any of these products mentioned and if you have, did you love them? So that's the end of this video. We'll be back next week with our next boxy charm at 11 a.m. on Thursday as always. And as always, you guys stay beautifully awesome. Later.